challenge of science. 15 years later. 15 years ago, just when the world was beginning to focus on the next millennium, a new phenomenon was slowly emerging from the depths. The legendary master of the deep Francisco Pepin Ferreras was on the verge of becoming a household name. Pepin, who began his extraordinary diving career spearfishing in his native waters off the coast of Cuba, had long been known in the freediving community as a superior underwater hunter who could hold his breath longer than most. But like any master of his craft, this alone would never be sufficient to hold his interest. And so it was that Pepin set his sights on what would eventually become one of the most extreme sports. His extraordinary abilities immediately began to attract the attention of the scientific community. One person who got the opportunity to study Pepin was Audrey Mestri. The story of Audrey and Pepin is well known. Their close interaction while she studied him led to them falling in love and getting married. He taught her everything he knew about freediving and she finally surpassed his achievements, eventually becoming the first to break the 170 meter barrier. Back in 1997, Colombian electronic engineer, Dr. Jorge Reynolds, best known for his invention of the pacemaker in 1958, decided to study Audrey and Pepin after several American scientists rejected his ideas as crazy. One of the more significant events arising from that study was the confirmation of a theory Pepin had about his ability to do something all of the scientific community had previously thought impossible. Pepin and Audrey then traveled to the Cayman Islands with Dr. Reynolds, where she set her first freediving world record and he became the first to break the 150 meter barrier and also set the record for free diving on two breaths of air, demonstrating that the community of scientists did not fully understand the marine mammalian ability that is native to all human beings. Despite pioneering this technique, all records set by Pepin and Audrey were done utilizing only a single breath of air to go down and come back up. When she passed away in an unfortunate diving accident in 2002, Audrey was the record holder, and Pepin eventually performed a memorial dive in honor of her achievements. During that dive, he equaled the record she held at the time of her death. Pepin has just set a, a world's record of 170 meters. That memorial dive was filmed by legendary producer and director James Cameron. Now, 15 years later, Pepin is again about to do the unthinkable. This time, he intends to dive below the 200 meter barrier on a single breath of air. And in preparation for that dive, he will once again be collaborating with Dr. Jorge Reynolds. As he helps Pepin prepare for his final No Limits Diving World Record attempt, Reynolds will use state-of-the-art imaging technology to study Pepin during a series of five consecutive dives to a depth of 100 meters with only three to four minute recovery intervals separating them. A feat never before attempted by anyone data analyzed by Dr. Reynolds and experts from various fields of medicine will allow Pepin to better understand how his body adapts to the immense oceanic pressures. It will create a baseline from which his athletic training program for his final No Limits record-breaking attempt will be designed. and everyone will gain an understanding of extreme human physiology and how the human body searches its genetic library for what he calls the underwater survival program. A mechanism present in all marine mammals that allows them to live underwater for long periods of time. 
This incredible scientific activity will be captured in a one-hour documentary called The Challenge of Science. Fifteen years later. Which explores the fascinating science of breath hole diving. Included in that documentary will be some incredible, never-before-seen footage from Dr. Reynolds' experiments in Colombia, and be pins on Audrey's record-setting dives later that year in Grand Cayman. Dedicated scientists using multiple specialized high-definition underwater cameras will monitor Pepin as he prepares for the unimaginable. While also exploring the fascinating science behind deep breath hole diving. His final record-breaking attempt will be a tribute to the memory of his loving wife, Audrey. And then he will retire from active competition in the extreme sport of no-limits diving. <laughs>